Hello everyone, right. It's raining outside, take a look out there. The puddleometer on that slab. Zoom into that, Oz. Wow, it is wet. We've just been in the show home to get um, what we call making good done or internal patch, whatever you want to call it. Basically, see all these holes? This is where the snot's dropped down. See? And then you end up with mortar build up down in there. So basically what you have to do is go in, get it all out, clean it all through. Look at that, there we go. Anyway, you can get the general gist. So what we do is we go around, save this for rainy days because it still gets, it's still something that you need to do uh, and you can get your bonus money back from it. Clean these out, clean the trays out, put the blocks back in, all the way round. This is missing a former, but I don't think we've got a former here for it. Then we need to put bricks in the joist area, up here. They go in up there, course of brick all the way through. And after that, you go around, you check all the walls for any bits of snot, uh, pinholes if there is any. I don't ever leave pinholes. But there is a man that does, and we've just been in the show and we've done that one just. But this one, we've got a few little cracks here and there where things have been knocked. Pinholes, Luke. You know who was on the back and the front? Because you've watched the videos. The number one man. I'm not even going to mention his name. Pinhole, pinhole, pinhole. And that's the stuff I hate. Tedious little things. And so, have we got any more on the front? No, people might think I'm being petty there, but if you leave pinholes, make sure you fill them in. And then we've got the same this side. Pinhole. A little bit of cracking up there. But we'll get all these blocks out. Cut the damps off as well. When we come through, these are from the air bricks. We'll cut all these damps off, make a nice, neat job. Uh, and then once we've blip brocked all these in, we're going to scrape all these floors get them completely tidy, and that's our job done in here. So, let's get on with it. Okay, so, this is what we do. Cut the damp off first, so this is, i just get my trowel in, run that across, because this trowel's pretty short. There's the damp cut off. Check inside for any bits. There's nothing in there, just a little bit of dust. Then you want to check up the side to make sure there's nothing fouling you. I've got a tie in there, so you give that a bend one way and then knock it up and you should clear the block. That's ready for a block. That one's ready for a block, so I'll show you how we do it. A little bit of mortar in. This mortar's nice and wet now, there's been some rain to it. You want to tape up the sides like so. Shouldn't take it too long to do these. Up there. Clean your block off, there's bits of glue and stuff on it. Put a spread on top. Make sure it's towards the back of the block. And then that is going in. Push it down. The joint should be relatively full. And then, last job, get the pointer, there she is. I've got one. I've got one there. Yeah. Oh, oh you've got one, I've got one there. And then it's literally a job of turning it round. that are missing. Yeah, I know everyone's going to say plus plenty in, but there's plenty in there. And that's it. Job done. 
And you do that all the way around. How many more we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six in this room and probably six in the other room. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in here. Should be done quite quickly and then we'll move on. We're up here and I'll show you how we do that. This is excellent. Right. Up, up top now. Doing a little bit of beam fill. So, we want to exercise the right. And it's simply. One course through, little trowel is needed because um, you don't want a big long one in there, not, not really, put a little bit more on and this stops the beams twisting apparently, why they don't use wooden noggins to do this anymore I don't know, I'm not actually quite sure but because, oh I haven't told you my block splitter has gone missing. 350 quid worth of block splitter down the swanee. That's in the back of someone's van for sure. I'm not happy about that. Uh, mark that up like that. And so we're on the back to the old method. My brick hammer handle has disintegrated. The one that Scott made me ages ago. Whose name shall not be spoken. So now we're back to old school. Chop and chase. Watch your eyes. That's it. Put a joint on that, both sides, and then I can lower it in. Perfect to mondo. And then they just basically just want jointing up nicely. I'll tell you what, I'll joint these ones just for your benefit. Not for my benefit because. I've seen it all before, and that's that. How quick and easy. I may as well probably join these as I go across, haven't I? To make more sense. Apart from that. There you go, nice and neat. We'll carry on. And that's that job. Uh, Locking out. I was just going around and punching them up. And we'll just move across, get this one in, and then we're going to clean these floors. Right, that is all the blocks done, beam filled done. That's how it should look. We've cleaned out, left everyone else's stuff in here that's decided to store it in here. But that's that's how we've left it. So the rain is stopping. We're gonna have something to eat. A puddle meter over there says we can carry on up top. And that's what we'll do. So we cleaned out the two plots. Uh, this one's done, the show house is done inside. Uh, they cleaned out, the beam fill's done in both. The block cavity, the block infills over the air vents are done. And we've come up here this afternoon when it stopped raining. We built up all the way from the bottom here, into there, all the way across there, down that side, done the infill. Got up to the 17 courses up to this side. And we chucked a couple of blocks in at the top, just um, to use up. It's nearly three o'clock now, covered all the stuff up, it's time to go home. If you've enjoyed today's video, you know what to do, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and hit the notification bell. Always be reminded every time I upload a video. That's it, have a nice weekend. Anything else else? Good day that, despite the weather. It's a 